All right, we're back with Cat Cafe Manager. Oh, I just got the Learn of Hawkable's Plans thing. How are we doing on... Okay, we have three more spaces for cats. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Yo. Whoa. Oh, huh. I was just texting Doug. So the reason I wanted to play this was because I think we are... We're kind of... We're close to the end of this. I think we're pretty close to the end of this, honestly. I think I was looking through the, um, the achievements? Yeah, and like we only have a little bit more than half the achievements, but a lot of them are like, you know, customer delight, um, complete all of the projects in the shrine, and like, I am working towards that. I think we've mostly done the story now, though. <laughs> you know? You know, we're at max heart level with everybody. Main goal is just to honestly keep, keep on, keep on keeping on. I want to adopt all of the cats, because I think that... Those are some achievements that are like game completion achievements, like you've completed the game. Um, because it's obviously getting all of the cats, and I, I would love to have all of the cats before I, you know. Before I would focus solely, you know, on my own time and doing my own complete the achievements if I want to. Some of the achievements I think we still will get today. Like the 2500 customer delight I think we'll be able to get. Um, we need to buy some like, um, cause there's like, have a cafe with four bar style, four harvest style, um, have a cafe with at least 20 expensive stat, four beach style, that kind of thing. 10 book stats. So it's like stats for stuff. So we need to like buy some more things. Aurel is peering over a set of faded photos from Nain's photo book as you and Mateo approach him. What you looking at there, friendo? Please don't tell me there's photos of me with bracers because that could count as blackmail material. Actually, that's exactly what I'm looking at. Check this out. Arwell presents a picture of very young Arwell and Mateo hugging clumsily with big smiles on their faces. Young Arwell's expression is part joy and part pain, as little Mateo's bracers poke him in the chin. Oh, uh, I suppose I vaguely remember Nain taking some photos of us when we'd visit her and her cats. There's like a whole book's worth, actually. I guess we visit her cafe, cat cafe a lot. She sure look friendly in that photo. We do, huh? Some people refer to us by the charming title, The Twin Tricksters. We were always up to some sort of shenaniganry. Uh, wasn't it the dual dunces? <laughs> we were less about shenaniganry and more hair brained -dry. That a word, that isn't a word, is it? You're looking at me like it isn't. How'd you two meet anyways? Aura lunges forward, putting his hand over your mouth before you can finish asking the question. Allie, I swear on my amazing hair, you'd better stop right there. Uh, Mateo, I think I heard your phone buzz, dude. Better run out here. 
Nah, uh Siri's asleep, and it sounds like Allie was asking us how we'd met. It's one for the history books, that story. This was back in, what, elementary school? We were in the same class, being taught by good old Gavin, I believe. We were both shy kids, I put it mildly. I was the quiet type while Arwell was, uh, let's say he got real creative insulting anyone that would call him shy. Honestly, the way you just let anyone walk all over you kind of ticked me off. Anyways, every year our school would have this costume party, right? That year, the theme of the party was personal heroes. Needless to say, I dressed up like my old man. Most kids came dressed like, like their parents or firemen or whatever. This one kid even dressed up as Bonner. But Arwell here had a really special costume. Arwell looks just about ready to sink into the floor. It's the middle of the party. All these kids mingling about when Arwell enters the room in this absolutely stunning pretty girl gun cat costume. He's got every single detail right. The gun arm, the visor, he even got the twin ponytails. That's that's right. If I do something, I give him my all, all right? Except this group of bullies couldn't handle that. Started ha haring, har haranguing, haranguing, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Me. About how I was wearing a girl's costume that I couldn't, just because I'm a boy or whatever. Normally I'd given these bozos a real piece in my mind, but I couldn't get my mouth to open, and I couldn't run away neither. It was like my feet had grown cinder blocks. This whole thing was starting to draw quite a crowd. I don't think I'd ever had that many people just looking at me. It felt awful, honestly. Then suddenly, this little nerdling, wearing a suit twice his size, hurls himself out of the crowd and starts going off on these bullies, yelling things like, Look at the craftsmanship and every pleasant detail work and using all kinds of words no seven-year-old should know. And that was me. You were the only person in that room bold enough to show who you really were and what you really wanted to be. I thought you looked really cool. I, uh, thanks, I guess. After that, we just sort of started hanging out around one another. We were inseparable for a little while there. Why were you two at Grand so often? Your granny was chill. She accepted us for who we were. My folks weren't around a heck of a whole lot, and Mateo's dad was, well, Mateo's dad. Wow, we are, well, you have a real way with words, you poet you, but you're not wrong. Point is, we sometimes didn't feel like we had other places to be. Why'd you stop being friends? Mateo and Arwell both grow silent. You notice they're both looking at the old photo. Go on, tell them. Um, alright. I went to business school, started my own company. We kept getting into these little verbal disagreements. Arguments, Mateo. We got into arguments. You stopped knowing how to have fun. You told me you no longer had time for my childish time-wasting. I, uh, I suppose I did say that. Mateo looks like he's working up to say something. His mouth keeps opening and closing as if he's about to start a sentence. Look, it's alright. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for saying that, and I'm sorry for just leaving our friendship at that. Oh, uh, thanks. It's cool. We're cool. For now. Suddenly, Mateo hugs Arwell tightly. It looks sort of clumsy and awkward. Mateo's glasses painfully poke into Arwell's chin, but it looks like the most natural thing in the world for them. Aww. being around you calms down you know you're like a forest glade of people thank you sorry i just had a hangnail and it, it hurt a lot <laughs> hurt a lot okay let's buy our grape juice yay okay let's see this one needs blueberry flower eggs we only have eggs this one needs potatoes tomatoes herbs bottled grape juice which we have all of, so veggie stew probably wouldn't be a bad idea. Chocolate flour eggs, we need flour. Beef, ham, rice, grape juice. So this one would need to buy beef, herbs, coconut milk. We need to buy coconut milk and pumpkin. So we should probably get the veggie stew recipe next because we already have all the ingredients. Like those are already regular ingredients that we get. So, oh, that's right, I wanted to Look into here because we need bar furniture.
think I have all of these already, except for the license plate and the fish painting. I have one of those. Don't have a rose bush, but it doesn't give us any stats. Yeah, and I definitely want to get these as well. All right, let's see. What was that? Cafe with, okay, so we got all the bar style furniture. We're kind of just going through the achievements because we're getting close to the end, so we might as well knock some of the easier ones out. Reach 25 total delight in a single run. We should do that. Complete all projects in the shine. We'll get that done. Harvest style furniture. Uh, what do we have? What do we? What do we have? Expensive. We have fifteen expensive points. We need twenty expensive stat. Um, I do kind of like this. I didn't even know that this was here. No harvest. Um, four beach style furniture, which, is that summer? I feel like yes. Ten book stat. What is our book? Our book is only three. Twenty art stat. What's our art stat at right now? Sixteen. Twenty entertainment stat. Uh, is entertainment even on here? Interesting. Cozy stat, coziness is nine. Plants is, what's our plant stat? Six. 20 magic stat, magic is only five. 50,000 in a single run, that will probably be one that's off. I think getting the stats up is probably a, a good one. And then the maximum scores for, giving maximum scores for the cats to adopt them out. We still have to complete all friendship furniture stories. Um, but I think that's kind of it. There's some hidden achievements, but I think some of them are the cats themselves. There's five hidden achievements. I think three of which are the cats. Uh, there's three more cats for us to get. So three of those are the cats. I don't remember what the other two were. I did look them up. Um, if we don't get them on our own, then no. Uh, but of course we need to, it would be much easier to get the stats up of the restaurant and stuff like that when we have like all of the furniture things, when the shrine is done now, so. Little robo cat, robo cat, cat bot. Escaped from the lab, that's his uh, little thing. All right, we should do the blessed lore? Is that the one? Or is there four cats? No, yeah, there's four cats left, okay. Cause we need to buy a meter, right? Cause one of our cats um, is one away on the meteorite. So we still have two, two, we have three cats now. Okay. So there's four, four total, four total cats. Let's see, and we're trying to level who up? Cause we're gonna wanna adopt you out, but I think we need to get what level um, what is it, 16? Level 16 and we'll adopt him out to punk. It just needed to be the max, yeah, 16 to 20 to get, we'd need to get the highest reward, um, is what the achievement is. Highest reward in each of the categories of each of the cats. And I almost forgot, what game are we playing after this? Ranch sim. Hello. 
So I have to be off the phone today by 5 p.m. Or off of stream today by 5 p.m. So that is when I'm getting a call about the... Uh, my remote... That remote position I was talking about. I don't even know if I want it. I didn't even apply for it, actually. They just, they reached out for me because they said that similar jobs I've been looking at and stuff like that or might be interested, so. seeing you in the cats always cheers me up it's true i was definitely bothered when i came home today you know just from i drove a half hour i only got i drove for two hours i sat in my car for two hours today and only got 13 bucks so it was not very fun but um, the cat did break into the laundry room, which is, which we usually like airlock between the garage door, our laundry room, and then our kitchen. There's two doors there, so we like airlock it. And somehow the inner door got opened. So she almost, she almost tried to run out, but I, she did not. I think she was actually more scared because the garage was going down and she was like, ooh, garage. Loud noise. <laughs> Yay! Alright, let's get a new project. This one next. I just want to see. Okay, we have one more cat slot left. I do kind of want to see what furniture we have now. Oh, this is cute. Yes, this is going to be kind of a wild culmination of things, but it's okay. This is summer. Did I not buy that? I thought I did buy that. How we doing on how we doing on our stats now? Just wanna see like what is our, our closest achievement we could get now. We still need art. So true. Four harvest style furniture. So we only have one. I think we kinda need four of everything, so we need one more summer. Three more harvest. I thought that I bought that light. I must not have. Oh, and we need to finish all of the, whatchamacallits, these, these stories. Um, I don't know how many more of them there are, but I know that I need to buy two more of those from in here. The tea table and the game table. I need to buy both of those, so maybe I should start saving, saving up. 
Oh, look at this little nature cat. So cute. Every time you complete a task, you gain one delight. Cute. Oh, this is going to take a lot. This one might take five. We'll get beef next time. Plus ninety-five. Okay, we're kind of chilling with the. We made we've made a lot because we've dropped it down to only what we absolutely need. Uh, in terms of like materials and stuff, so. So, I think I might adopt this one out now. Mixtape. And she is punk. Fit cat. Mixtape. Yep, and there it is. Give the maximum score for giving a punk cat a forever home. I need eggs and beef. Can't call Carla anymore. Oh, is she already here or something? I bet she is. She might be up here already. Yeah, she's right here. I was like, she must be in here already then. Carla and Gavin are at the photo book. Bent over a collection of photos Nain took in her youth. All the photos show some one or more witches. Allie, me and Lalala. Here, just found a ver veritable gold line of witch history among your grand's photos. Witches tend to not hold on to photographs here, courtesy of them being quite potent ingredients for curses and all that. Um, yeah, we were wondering if we could take these over to the library sometime to properly sort and file them. We could learn a lot about how Catterwall's witchy community used to look back then. Only if you tell me your findings, I'm interested. Oh, that's terrific. Thank you so much. We'll definitely share our findings with you, but be aware it could take a long time. There are a lot of photos. Gavin picks up a photo, picks up a photo showing a collection of wise-looking witches. Some are ancient, some are about your age. So, Lala, is this photo here? These were the elders of this garden, correct? That is correct, Gavin. Any garden sorely needs its elder. Any garden so sorely needs its elders. A garden simply cannot function without them, I think. What is a garden exactly? Oh dear, I've never explained this to you. My apologies, Allie. Witches have a bit of a tough history, I'm afraid. In the past, they were often chased away or avoided simply for being a bit different from non-witchy people. To avoid this fate, they found strength in solidarity and formed groups called covens. Nowadays, most witches live in a coven. Now, coven witches tend to move around a lot. In the old times, a coven would travel to a town and negotiate with the town's leaders on prices for witchy services, such as potion making. Ah, I read about this. If an agreement could not be made or eventually broke down, the coven would simply pack up their brooms and move, right? That's right, dear. The witches here in Catterwell, however, are what we call garden witches. Garden witches find a single place to settle and stay there. We, we call such covens a garden instead. There are many other kinds of witches, like hedge witches who travel without a coven, or balcony witches who ply the witchy trade in the city. It is said that the witches of Catterwall were a coven that traveled with the first settlers of the valley, and decided to form a garden here after they helped the village make a pact with the wild cats that lived here. Absolutely fascinating stuff. Uh, any other questions, Allie? Why are some of these elders so young? Oh, we call whoever is in charge of a coven an elder, dear. The elders of a coven or garden are picked by vote. 
I'm sure that in the old days, the oldest and wisest witches were often chosen to lead the coven, and that's why we call our leaders elders. But now, it is much more normal for an elder of a young age to be selected. By the way, you must also have noticed from the photo there are witches of all genders in most covens. The stereotype that only female presenting witches exist is a bit of a myth, I have found. Oh, really? Are there still... Are there really people that think that? That's rather silly, is it not? Do you know how the witching business first started? Ah, now this is an interesting one. There are many theories out there. My hope is that your grand's collection maybe holds some documents to prove or disprove some of these theories, but we shall see. I'm actually not familiar with these stories of our founding, Gavin. Could you share one, please? Of course. It is said that long ago, before the witching business existed, there was a small town hidden deep in the countryside. In the town lived a single doctor that the whole town relied on, until one day she herself got sick, and she had nobody to turn to. The town was much too secluded to have another doctor come in and treat her. She told the town to not visit her cabin, and she was afraid to infect them too. One rainy day, the sick doctor looked out her window and noticed a hungry black cat lying by her doorstep. It was too tired to cry for help, but looked like it needed it. The doctor, although she was very sick herself, took the cat in and fed and cared for it. Now the next part is a bit fantastical. One day, the black cat spoke to her. It thanked her for taking care of it and in return taught her the art of potion making, using wild herbs from the woods. One of the potions it taught her was the cure to her disease, which was thought incurable. She proceeded to teach the trade to whoever was willing to learn, and eventually she traveled from village to village to teach others. And that is how the first coven was founded? What a beautiful story! I do love stories with a happy ending. Did she and the cat live happily ever after? There are some other records of her travels, but none mention a black cat. It is all a bit of a fairy tale. Anyway, I imagine the doctor simply learned potion making through her own hard work and experimentation. Aw, I hope the magic black kitty lived a long and happy life. Either way, is there anything else you'd like to know? I have to get going, good luck. Of course, Allie, thank you again for allowing us to take a look at these photos. Bye now. Goodbye! Yeah, I think this one's gonna take like five. And let me not here furniture so was it we needed one more one more beachy furniture right i love the rugs love the rugs i think we're we have all the bar stuff but we definitely need more wall decor There it is. There's our beach style furniture. I think we're still trying to get harvest style furniture if I'm remembering correctly. Let me just see. Is that the last one of the four harvest style furniture? And then yeah, it'll focus on it looks like the other stats. So art, books, entertainment, cozy, plants, magic, which we can work on next. But as soon as we have, you know, all of our proper vibes,
Uh, this one's really great. The plus 50% of skills after 6 p.m. That one's just, it's really good. <laughs> All right, and we kind of, my allergies are going crazy just watching this game. <laughs> well, just don't be allergic to cats, bro. Um, who do we want to probably adopt out next? Looking for somebody with very high stats. You kind of have a lot of high stats already. You can be the... You can be the uh, Vagabond. Max cat we adopt out. Brennan, I tried door dashing this morning and it sucked. I don't ever want to do it again. But I have a phone call for a remote job at 5 today and a call about another in-person lab job tomorrow morning. So we'll see. The remote job might seem good to do for a while because, you know, it's remote. So, Hello. travel time wouldn't matter, and I think it pays pretty good. So, I'm gonna see. The point of these initial meetings is just to, like, learn about the position and see if you'd still be interested, so... Yeah, let me see. Like, cause like the hours are gonna be important. It says thirty-two hundred dollars a month plus forty bonus, forty dollar bonus per package. I don't know what that means, but average monthly income is forty-eight hundred dollars for this job apparently. Hi, Ellie, you become pretty great friends, right? Makes me glad you. So $4,800 times 12 months. That's like a little under 60K, which would be really nice. Chocolate and bread, hmm? If I work from home, it would just, it would be nice because I can, you know, the travel is a big thing. Hours, though, because it says, like, on their website that they're open from, like, 9 to 6. I don't know what that entails for my job. This is all the reason why you take a phone call and you figure it out. And you ask questions. Speaking of which, I need to write down some of my questions. <laughs> I only need to get him up to 16. 16, I'm pretty sure. Vagabonds, yeah, 16 is the max. Yeah, we're almost done with this game. It's kind of weird. Because, like, I'd consider myself, quote-unquote, done with this game when everything that I would do on camera would be done. I would probably play, like, if there was only, like, one more achievement or whatever, I would probably, you know, go try to just play to get the achievement, like, kind of AFK play, but...
Brennan, do you work today? If you're still here. I'm assuming yes. Is Eastern on here? Harvest and Eastern. I know Harvest is, but is Eastern? Four Harvest style furniture. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think so. It's kind of weird. We need two more um, of these, though. I'm getting a phone call right now, but I'm not going to answer because I'm busy. Like, that's so cute. So was this pumpkin crate. It's important they'll leave a message. We're down to our last two things in the shrine. Just these two things left. Blueberries, flower, eggs. That now just leaves pumpkin soup. Hi. Hello. Should be able to adopt this cat. That is another achievement. Cat said. <laughs> Alright, and that's all for that lure, which leaves this guy. Must have not been that important because they didn't. They didn't leave a message, so. Trying to decide what I want for lunch. I'm tempted to just like go grab the, the extra cantaloupe that I have. Um, and just kind of snack on that. Um, because I don't. Um, what's it called? It probably won't be good for much longer, and I don't just like want to throw it away, but... <laughs> Carl Lala is at the study table, teaching a not-so-captive audience. Um, now pay attention, class. I expect total focus for my animal care class. Carl is taking this whole being a teacher thing pretty serious-like, huh? 
I never took her for the strict teacher type, to be honest. Well now, do you two need to be separated? No whispering in class, alright? Allie, take your seat, please. Chop, chop. Pass a secret note to Arwell. You have Finley pass a secret note to Arwell. He reads it and turns bright red. Hey, what did you write in that note? I'd like to know, too. In today's class, we will discuss the foundational skills required for animal care. Things such as the difference between a good and bad scritch. How to avoid ruffling feathers and so on. First off, I would like to know about the animals that are in your care. Allie, no need to list off all the cuties. I know your cats quite well by now. Uh, my parents have a dog. He's a sausage type. Name's Oscar. Getting a bit old. He's just a little guy. Oh, I love just little guys. I don't have any animals in my care, but my older sister has two parakeets I sometimes look after. They're sisters, Dolly and Danglebee. Alright, before I discuss my prepared materials, do we have any questions, class? Uh, actually, yes. I was at the pet emporium the other day, and a dog came up to me and sort of bit me. Not like a full-on bite. It didn't actually bite down. It didn't hurt or anything, but it did put a scare into me. I was just wondering what's the best thing to do in that kind of situation, Madame Carla Lala. Hmm, sounds to me like this is one badly trained pup. If Oscar did something like that, I would discipline him for sure. Not that he ever would, he's a good boy. Besides, he'd never reach anything worth biting with those little legs. Aurel, I'm disappointed in you. Even doggies that do a little bite are good boys. This dog was most likely frightened or agitated. Disciplining them will only make that worse. It would be much better to treat them with love and affection until they no longer misbehave themselves. I don't know, I still say that Doggo needs a bit of tough love and lots of training. It's gotta learn what is wrong and right, don't it? As our fellow pet sport pet expert, what do you think, Allie? I think it's important to, to discipline. Yeah, Allie knows what's up. I, It's not about not loving your pet, you just gotta show them what's okay and what ain't. How else are they supposed to know? Yeah, it's not like we can talk to our pets, so we gotta be real clear when we try to tell them what's up, in my opinion. I sort of understand. It sure is a real shame we cannot talk to animals, right, class? Right? Um, so that was our first question. Let us get to my teaching materials. Uh, oh, look at the time. I have to go be going, class. I have another class to teach shortly. Sweet, saved by the bell. What you teaching next, Clara? The mice in my shop's attic just had a new nest, and those little rascals could use a lesson on respecting their downstairs neighbors and basic hygiene. You leave the study table. We all learned something today, haven't we? We're not sure what, but you're sure it's something. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, look at this little ghost cat. Ooh, he's skill 16. Dang. into the void it's not nice having to deal with all the trash surely worth signing a contract but why can't you shake this feeling of dread oh well trash never seems to appear in your cafe anymore wow that's a good cat Look at that. We now have all of the recipes. We have everything unlocked. Now we can start saving our nectar. When I sailed the high seas, I had a lover at every port of call. Gavin sure traveled around a lot to meet me at all those ports. <laughs> that is funny. I meant to get some furniture, but that's okay. Let's see. Let's knock out 20 expensive stat. Let me, let me really fast. What is our expensive? 15. So we need five. We need five more expensives. So this one's a too expensive. Let's get one of those. 
This one's too more expensive. Oh, we have one of those already, though. This one has an entertainment. There's so much random stuff in here. <laughs> Alright, so now our expenses is 17. We need something with three more expensive stat. And, um... What was this one? It was, um... Entertainment? That's not on here. So I don't know how to do that one. We'll just have to, like, buy a bunch of entertainment stuff until we get that achievement. <laughs> Which is fine, I guess, but... He's so cute. There's our 2,500. I don't think I'm gonna get the cat in time. Maybe. I definitely will. Cool. Forgot I have a, a bonus that pushes my stats way up in the evening. So what did we need again? We'll look at the end of the day.
right, let's see. Yeah, we need way higher books to, what is it, art? Art's, re art's really close. 20 art stat. So arts, books. Where are books? Is that in here? This should hopefully complete the art one. Yep. Yeah, okay, so the books is only 10. Okay, so let me just, I'm kind of going to write this down as well. So I don't have to keep clicking out. We need 10 book. 20 expensive, 20 entertainment, 20 cozy, 20 plants, 20 magic, 20 cool, 20 tech, And then there's a hidden one, but um, that's all of those. I think I'm gonna expand this back here though. Start, let me just put some of this other stuff back here. <laughs> this will be our stat boosting corner. all the stuff that's like a little bit cramped and everything I'm gonna kind of just like push back Actually need another food? I think so. look up the last secret achievement because I don't know what it is. We'll do that at the end of the next uh, night cycle or whatever.
Mateo has gathered everybody around the study corner. Everybody but Mateo looks nervous and jittery. Ho, oh, Allie, just the go-getting entrepreneur I was looking for. You see, I was going to give a little course on business practices at your fine study table, but that's when I got a way, way better idea. Bark tank, in which I make my friends bark business ideas at me, and I pretend to decide to invest in them. And oomph's better to have at my side than you, Allie. You can be my bark buddy. Finn, I will never forgive you for putting this idea into the, his empty head. I apologize. There was a pun right there, and I just go for it. And I just had to go for it. It wasn't a good pun, even. Puns just have this this power over me. Two teams will bark their knots. I mean, investment opportunities at us today, Allie. Which pitch shall we hear first? Finley and Carla, or Pestcast with Pestcast, or Bonner and Arwell with Bedride? Let's hear about Pestcast. Okay, Carla, you got this. You throw up the ball and I'll dunk it, all right? Oh, baseball metaphors. We really are entrepreneurs, are we not? Um, all right. Time for a real, um, barn burner. Have you ever wondered what is a podcast? Well, so have I. But luckily, my friend Finley explained it to me. Turns out they're like when your friends have a nice conversation. And all you can do is listen instead of join in. Sounds lonely, but it is very exciting. That's right, Carla. And that's why we tried making a podcast. But it was terrible. Just the worst. Absolute baby tear. Hmm. All right. I am intrigued. That is when we thought, what if this is our unique, um, selling point? There are so many good podcasts out there, or so I've been told. What if someone needs a really bad one? Well, bam, that's the pest cast. A podcast so bad, it'll chase your pests away. Just play this at home, seal, and leave your place for about three days or so. And any pests that will have invaded your space will have left out of misery. Pests deserve the worst, and there's no, nothing quite as bad as somebody's first podcast. That's the pest cast promise. Unless they are nice pests, like mice or ladybugs or ants or mosquitoes or molds. All right, all right, you got my attention. Now you have my confusion. What's your business model looking like? We're still working out the finer details, Mateo, but we are thinking of collecting fish and gems through some sort of mail system. Makes sense. Thank you for the pitch. Ready to hear the next one? Let's see. Have you ever wandered, walked... Have you ever walked around town, your hands full of shopping bags, your back aching, and all you want to do is get a good night's rest? Yeah, or uh, have you ever been in a public place or heard someone express an opinion so bad it immediately made you want to go to sleep? That's when you call up Bed Ride, the bed on wheels. Yeah, we get like a white van, we bolt a bed to the back, we drive up, you get in, and you lie down. Uh, it's just that easy, right, Bonner? That's right, little Arwo, and unlike other companies, we use pesky mobile applications and websites. You can order your very own bed ride from any payphone. Uh, dude, I think Allie has, the like, the world's last payphone in front of their cafe, so I don't know if that's the best idea. So, feeling tired? Walk to your closest payphone now. We drive your way so you can hit the hay. Wow, we I can tell from Allie's blank stare that they're very intrigued. So what sort of investment are you looking for? Uh, we were wondering if we could borrow that white van of yours, Mateo, and your bed. Uh, noted. What now, Allie? I have decided who imaginarily to invest in. All right, time to bark up the right investment tree. I'm still workshopping that line, but I think it's got potential, right? Who are we giving the imaginary bucks? I don't know. Pest cast is pretty cringe. Invest in bed ride. Yes, little Arwell, we did it. Uh, does this mean one of us needs to get their driver's license? Good luck with that, Bonner. Er, I have an actual peg leg, so how about you, dri you get the driver's license? No way, you gotta study for that thing. Time for your- oh, um, I suppose we still have some kinks to sort out, Allie. I never knew running an imaginary investment show with no actual physical money involved could be this much work. You leave Mateo and his new partners to figure out the tax situation on imaginary money. Hmm.
that I was gonna, my mouse just double clicked and Is it that one that I don't have? I was gonna look at the hidden achievements. Yeah, it looks like it might be that one. More like squawkable. Foil the plans of hawkable goons. No, I don't know what that means, but... Or it could be that one. I don't know. I don't know what it is. This one will give us cozy and entertainment. I'm gonna write these down also. Let's see, seven. so we have 17 expensive right now. I don't know about an entertainment because I don't know where that is. Cozy, we're at 14. Plants, we're at 13. Magic, we're at 7. Cool, we're at 17. That one's really close. And tech, we're at 4. Okay. And our shrine's about to be completed. actually complete another thing by adopting that kitty out. Yay! Complete all projects in the shrine and give the maximum score for giving a vagabond cat. That's it. That's all the shrine. It's the whole shrine. That's crazy. We're 75% of the way done with our achievements. And this... So there's 62 minus 46. There's 16 achievements left. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Half of those achievements that are left are just buying stuff to put in here.
Okay, so what was the reason for these? I don't need any of that. I do need all of this, though. We have 14,000 for fabrics. <laughs> They're used to purchase chairs and tables, but I don't need chairs and tables. I haven't needed chairs and tables in a while. I might rotate out some of these chairs, though. If we find some ones that give some different, you know, like we can buy a couple, like, expensive ones and, like, trade them out and maybe some more cozy ones, cool ones. All right, what do we need next? So we did Vagabond, we did Punk. Fisher is probably the next one. And he's already up to ten. I've been reading way too many corny uh, romance novels. It's nice and comfy, even if they test my gag reflex sometimes. Huh? Oh, the townsfolk, filled with delight, have helped a lot of restoration in the cat shrine. I wonder if everything with Hawkable acquisitions will be alright and decide to go take a look. The shrine is fully restored. The stray cats mill about enjoying the warm sun. Took a lot of work and lots of help from customers filled with delight, but it's finished. Brilliant, my friends. I can't believe we pulled it off. This old shrine looks about as young as me. Ha ha ha. I feel a strong sense of gratitude from the statues. Um, or I would if I could talk to statues, which I cannot. Still worried about Hawkable, though. Wonder when they'll get here. You guys, they got here. Rats. Arwell, who's kept watch, dashes into the clearing. Squawkable is right outside. I ain't gonna let them step a foot in here. Ready to rumble, Bonner? I ain't one for rumbling, we Arwell. I can yell real loud, though. A megaphone voice thunders through the woods. This is Hawkable Acquisitions Catterwell Development Director. We order you to evacuate our premises. We are ready to bulldozer the site. What's that, sir? The slogan? Of course, a uh, Hawkable, carrying you to the nest of the future. End of the road, Allie. Do we go down guns blazing? I brought a, uh, mean-looking nerf gun. It's a sit-in. We're not going anywhere. A wonderful idea, dear. If only we had something scrumptious to eat, it'd be sort of like a picnic. I, uh, made sandwiches, personalized for each of you. Happened by accident. You prepared this for us? Wow, cutie. <laughs> Heck no! Uh, anyway, here's the accompanying charcuterie. Uh, yeah, absolute cutie. All right, we are moving in our bulldozers, whether you have vacated the lot or not. Yes, sir, really all right. Hawkable dozer, the one machine to wipe it all clean. You can hear the humming of engines some distance away. You all exchange glances, a mix of fear and determination in your eyes. The rumbling gets louder and louder. Not so fast, Cretan. The Mateo's voice on the microphone. Siri, check heroic interruption off my bucket list. I actually just told my real Siri, sorry. Finally, that one took a while. Um, that's my megaphone, and Mr. Mateo, doesn't your company support this plan? Silence, Cretan. Hey now, I have feelings. Sorry. Anyway, I did in fact want progress for Catterwall, whatever that means, but Allie and the Alley Cats, Cat Fay Cats, made me realize that that shouldn't be at the cost of what makes Catterwall, well, Catterwall. And I'm not the only one. Gather around everyone. Chorus of witches, punks, fisher folks, business people, vagabonds, and stray cats yell out in response. I took the liberty of looking into your hawkish little acquisition of this plot of land. It all seemed perfectly legal until... Siri, set a three-second timer for dramatic effect. <laughs> I can't with this guy. Until I requested the help of Gavin, our town's librarian. Hi, Bonner. Proud of you, sweetheart. Gavin, my heart's a burstin'. Yeah, um, we dug through the oldest sections of the town's public records, and it turns out the land is owned by a Miss Grimm. Her will stated that upon her death, the shrine is bestowed upon the upstanding members of this town and the many cats they keep. That's a weird will. Look, we're trying to wrap it up here, bud. Point is, no dozering today. Aw, oh, man, I love the dozering part, though. Took a long while for the hawkable construction corpse to sheepishly saunter off. Woohoo! Looks like teamwork wins yet again. Great job, Mateo. I'm impressed. 
I hate sounding like a cliche, but we all did it together, didn't we? What a delight, dears. I'll visit the shrine for a little offering of fish every chance I get. Here, here. Best we don't forget our roots as a breezy cat loving town again, eh? I'm sure this won't stop Hawkable from buying up the rest of the town, though. That's when I'll introduce him to my buddies. Butt and head. Uh, as in headbutt, not the other way around. Arwell, we talked about this. No butting heads. Uh, I meant confronting elected officials and directed community action. Your friend slowly began to leave the shrine, elated at the victory of the day. When you turn back, the Grimalkin is there. So little alley, our plan so little alley thing, our plan worked. I couldn't be more proud. The cats would like me to tell you. Nain would be very proud of you. Aw. What will you do now? Return to the city? Um I want to continue helping Shay Cats, and they wish to continue to help you in return. This pleases me. However, you won't be seeing me again for a long time. My work is done for right now. Take good care of the cats for me, Allie. I promise I will. The Grimalkin steps into the woods, and for a short moment you feel you can see the shadow of a lean, elegant, dark figure waving at you. Well, time to get back to Allie Cats Cafe. Lots of work left to be done. So yay! We have more customer slots and cat slots. We can re-adopt cats with a forever home. New elite staff can hire at the notice board, Bonner's ingredient delivery service. We can buy it at the market. What does that even mean? So we, we can have 11 staff? That's wild. Hold on, I have to look now. Yeah, automatically buy ingredients when you run out. That's so sick. Bunch of more furniture. Let's buy some stuff, huh? So we can, can we have more customers now? Is that what happened? 50 chairs! Oh. That's a lot. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna have any problems getting the rest of these achievements now. Plants is now up to 15 and magic is up to nine. Yeah, let's let's go back because we might be able to just complete a bunch of stuff here. Cause this gives expensive. Oh, but that's because it also uses these. Maybe we don't use uh, the expensive stuff. Comfort doesn't matter. We need some tables. Do we need art still? No. Coziness plus two, we could use that. So that'll be 16 on the cozy. Magic aura three, that'll be good. That'll bring us up to 12 magic. And now we need what, uh, eight chairs? put this table down that'll finish expensive for us just trying to find chairs worst case we just yeah cause the those ones are kind of expensive those chairs
Whoops. I don't know what I just bought there. This is cozy plus one. I guess that one's good. Glad I accidentally clicked that one. Yep, there's the expensive stat done. We could use three more cozy. There's two. Why are all the tables cozy and not the... Why are the tables cozy and not the, um... That's kind of funny. Alright, there's Cozy. And what is our next count one? It's, I think it's 30,000. Is it 30 or 35,000? 35,000. I can't believe we can adopt cats back. What do you mean? Does that mean like you could put lures back down or? Pick cat. So can you like readopt? Yeah, you can readopt. What if we pick somebody with like really high stats? Like you have seven magic. Oh, he needs a lot. <laughs> it depends on what his skills are that you need to adopt him back. Okay. I don't, like, need to adopt any of them back. You know, as soon as I, like, finish this game, I probably won't. Adopt anything out anymore. And I might have to reopen it. Oh, no, I don't think so. That was our hidden achievement was the goons, so... That one is a really good one to have, too. I don't mind coming back in here, though. To get that, but that one will be really nice uh, once we hopefully get to that point. I do, obviously we're gonna keep playing until, you know, um, 
till our two hours, so like, what, another 15 minutes or so? But then we're gonna... This'll be- this will be our last stream, because I can- everything up to this point, there's no more hidden achievements. Everything up to this point is just, you know, playing the game and upping the skills. Get him ready to, you know, adopt out Max Cats and... And, you know, complete this stuff, but I think we're gonna try to have this done before we get off stream today, if we- if we can. There is some, um... I know there'll probably be some dialogue, but that'll be okay. Cause, like, when I unlock these two things, I bet that there'll be some dialogue. Um, but I don't know how long it's going to take all of those things to go for the achievement, so I don't think that would probably be a, a good thing to stream. But there are good friends and in-game, and I don't think we're gonna, like, learn more from them, I guess. Besides, you know, some general stuff. Their skills are almost- or our friendships almost completely maxed out with all of them. Um, I think there's only one more person that needs to visit, and we can call them in tomorrow. Because we'll definitely have enough time for that. So, yeah. Alright, let's see what we can buy now. We need three more cool stats. This only gives cool, doesn't it? It doesn't give any plant stat. Okay. We need five more plant stat. What is this? We need more of this. We need more jewels. Is there any of these that I could probably get all at once here? This can get our cool closer. We'll only need one more cool. Let me see if any of our chairs have cool, please. This is literally a cool blue table and it doesn't have any cool stats. Boo! And I can't get any of this stuff. Oh, and we can buy this. Let's buy the tea table and put the tea table down because then we can at least get some story in this. Maybe. Hi. And what was it? Jewels? We need to invite the painters back. We also have a ton of fish. I'm tempted to not have the fishermen in anymore. We need everything else. I think everything we need now.
Carlella is pouring tea for Finley, who is filling hers up with more sugar than you know what to do with. Carla grabs another cup and motions towards it, inviting you to sit with them. Hello, Allie. Would you care to have a cup of tea with us? How do you take yours? Sugar and milk, please. Oh, sugar? Let me help you out there. You watch with Tara as Finley pours sugar into your cup. As she keeps pouring, you notice Carla Lala's usually serene gaze show a badly hidden worry for your safety. Thanks for inviting us for tea, Lala. I was just thinking we should hang out more. I ha we haven't really had a lot of proper conversations, I feel. Oh, that is sweet, Finley. I would be very happy to have someone to share some tea and troubles with at times. Troubles? Got something on your mind there? Lay it on me. I'm sure Allie won't mind either. I'm so relieved to hear that, Finley. Truth be told, I was not sure who to talk to about this, but I think you and Allie might just be perfect. You see, someone recently moved close to Catterwall, and they kind of sort of caught my eye. Carlella takes a big sippy of her tea to t hide her red face from embarrassment. Finley looks at you with a bemused smile. Um, oh, wow. You're looking for that sort of advice, huh? Well, you've come to the right place. We'll be your experts in matters of the heart, right, Allie? That's right. We'll help. Oh, I'm so happy. I can confide in my good friends about this. I just don't know what to do about my feelings, so I just go out there and let them know. So if rom-coms have taught me anything, first we'll need some more info if you decide on the right course of action. First thing, what pronouns should we use for them? He, him, dear. All right, now the real sleuthing begins. Allie, what do you need? What do we need to know about him? What do you like about him? Oh, there are just so many things. I like how self-sufficient he is. He lives out in the woods by himself all the time. He's very strong. He catches his own fish and even digs for roots and such to eat. And I like how he just sleeps so much. He'll go entire weeks just laying around and sleeping. It's so cute. Sounds like a bear. Wow, well, I've never thought you'd be into the hardcore survivalist type. All right, what else, Allie? What's he like? Oh, he is lovely and snuggly. He's so big, burly, and hairy and fluffy. Wow, I, uh, I could see the appeal. A rear bear of a guy, huh? A lot of folks go for that sort of thing, I suppose. How is he to talk to? Oh, he does not say a lot. He speaks in these short little growling mutterings. But what he does say have to say is really quite profound. He can look quite scary, but is actually surprisingly kind, I think. Oh gosh, I am so excited to see him just from talking about him. All right, what else, Allie? How'd you meet him? I was out in the woods gathering the ingredients I used to make the cat food. Allie so often pur purchases at my shop. That's when I found him sleeping. He was sleeping in the woods? Like in a tent? No, but he made himself quite comfortable a little hiding place. He looked so peaceful. I just wanted to snuggle up beside him. Did you two talk at all? Only a little. He told me he just arrived here last winter and was still getting used to everything here. Alright, what else, Allie? We have had enough. So, from everything we've heard, what do you think, Allie? Does he sound like a good fit for Lala? For Lala? He sounds great. You should totally date him. Date him? Uh, why would I date a bear? I thought you liked the bear type. Wait a minute. Finley spits out her tea. I knew it! <laughs> Too much sugar in that anyways. But, L Lala, are we talking about an actual bear here? Like the animal? Yes. I wanted to go play with him, but I'm scared I would scare him away from the counter wall. These woods are not really his territory, after all. I, I think that would be fine, Lala. You have our blessing to spend more time with the bear, as long as you're careful. Oh, Finley, Allie, thank you two so much from the bottom of my heart. It's so very nice to have friends like yourself I can confide in. In fact, I'll quickly finish my tea and go see him right now. If you ever need advice on such matters again, I'll definitely come to you first, Finley. You are so helpful. I think this means we have some very confusing conversations in the future, Allie. But Lala looks so happy, happy, and that's what matters, I guess. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, 
All right. Let's see what we can buy here now. Okay. We already have a bookshelf. Here we go, spell bookshelf. That would give us three more. Which would only bring us up to six still. Ooh, and this is five. So that should take care of all of our books. That should take care of our 10 book. That might be all the money we have right now. Is that right? Can't buy anything. I think I already have this bush, but it doesn't give any plant anything anyways. Surprise this potion cabinet doesn't give any um, what's it called? Not reading, but um, magic. I know it's fantasy, but I'm surprised it doesn't give any magic points. But there's book. All right, let's let's skip ahead. We have a few more minutes here. Let's let's do one more day. One more day. And I'm gonna quickly see in furniture if there's any magic chairs. Like anything that gives magic. Magic cooler tech. I don't think there is. Oh, the soccer chair does. We don't have money for that though. So the soccer chair, we could get that chair. That would give us three more magic. Tea time. 
Suddenly, sitting at the tea table, surrounded by pamphlets and flyers, Matteo and Bonner are at her side, appearing to be in an argument. Thunder and lightning, foolish little Matteo, you just don't understand. Where's the excitement, the heart pumping adrenaline? Oh, sure, Boomer, I mean, Bonner, you get... You go get struck by lightning on some boat while I work on my gorgeous summer tan. Oh, hi, Allie. Come, come, sit, come sit. This table is in dire need of de-escalating prisons, I think. Boys got a bit heated when I asked them to help me organize my very first loan holiday. I've never really been abroad, you know? I recently made a bit of a change, so I figured, what the heck? I started looking into where to go, but the world's just so big, you know? So I figured I'd ask the most well-traveled people I know for some help, and here they are, bickering. Fool of a Mateo, a summer tan, the proper way of getting yourself a tan is through hard work under the good old seer and sun, not lying by some fancy pool. Well, excuse me for thinking Finley shouldn't have to suffer through her first big holiday. My girl could use all the relaxation she can get. Look at her. Allie, please de-escalate anyways. Who do you think should help me plan my holiday? What sort of holiday have you always thought of? Who, me? Uh, I don't know. Hmm, I guess. The has told me about the city, about the museums and the theaters, and all the people crowded in small diners. She said it was gross, stressful, and kind of sweaty, but I couldn't stop thinking about it. Since then, I've always wanted to live in the city and thrive among that hustle and bustle. But maybe just seeing it could be good? But that's not much of a holiday, is it? The city is quite close by, after all. I don't know. Any ideas, uh, Allie? Bonner, where have you traveled before? Ah, my shipmate, Allie. Thank you for asking. I've traveled far and wide. If your job is serving on ships, it's like you're on a never-ending holiday, just something new and exciting at every port. Once I traveled to the far deserts of Silphland, I delivered mail by horseback through the deep deserts. Once a week, I bartered for fresh herbs in a marketplace without knowing a single word of silt speak. Stayed for around a month, and it was tough living, but every day brought new challenges and experiences. Spent most of my time alone, contemplating my life and my place in the world. It was glorious. Hmm, interesting. Traveling by yourself to a place you don't really know anything about sure does sound exciting. What do you do to unwind? Unwind? Every day is about making sure I had food in my belly and coin in my wallet. That's how you truly learn for what you're made of. I, uh, why do I surround myself with these intense men again? Allie, have you heard enough to make a decision? Let's see what Mateo says. Why, well, thank you for your genuine interest, Allie Friendo. I myself have been on many different fun little excursions. But just last summer, I went to an all-inclusive resort in New Gameland. Located just below the snowy mountain peaks. It's pretty long. It's pretty little log cabin log building had everything a grown boy needs indoor swimming pool expert foot massager specialized in feet with office strain all day bench breakfast buffet and when you were do get it we're done getting pampered into dust you can have your relaxed lifeless body hauled up the mound and slid down in a relaxing bobsleigh ride along all right lifeless body check i could see the benefits of having everything taken care of for you i guess that's right but holidays is to get proper relaxed to let all your daily worries fall off you like some kind of snake shedding a skin made of stress. So you can came, come back, ready for that grind. Sounds expensive, though. Oh, I know a guy who knows a girl who knows a foot masseur. I'm sure I could get you a good price. All right, all right, Allie, have you heard enough? Yes, I made my decision. Try planning a trip yourself. Oh, you really think that's a good idea? You know, I think Allie's right. This is your own adventure, not everyone else's. It's only right you think about where to head yourself. I have to admit, spending time doing research, listing all your options, and deciding what works for you, it's half the fun of the trip. Okay, if you think so, then that a real boost to my confidence that I can do this. Thanks, I'll give it my all. She starts listing concert venues in the city, and you see her eyes begin to sparkle. Hope she has an amazing time. Oh, yeah. All right, we're gonna buy some furniture here right at the end. Um, see if there's any last minute achievements we can get before we log off. Let me quickly get the grape juice. All right. We have a bit, not a ton. This is a pretty cheap plant. Let me go my cost. I 
think that's all. But I think that finishes up plants for us. This gives us magic aura, which is why I got that. Yep, there it is. Plant stat done. All right, and our magic went up to 14. Our cool is still 19. I have no idea what our entertainment is. And tech is still four, right? Nice. All right. So that, let's do this. That is gonna conclude Cat Cafe Manager for today. So if you're watching the VOD, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and catch a live over on twitch.tv slash 3224 And thank you so much for watching, goodbye.